Okay then, um, this is really the sort of final piece of the puzzle, so make sure you're on frame one. Okay, um, something that we've already done a few times now, so you should be getting used to this. We're going to put this rotation group inside another group, so that's control and G. So I'm going to rename that and call it position. No, hang on, I just want position. Yep, yeah. animation. And this is going to be the one that contains the, um, the animation that moves him forward. So on frame one, this is where I want him to start. So I'm going to press S to set that keyframe. Then I'm going to move to frame 21. Uh, and then I'm going to move him forward um, just by a random amount, just to see whether or not I'm happy with it. So I'll go, how many units is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's six ish units. Then set a keyframe. And then just sort of by eye, have a look to see whether or not you think that's about the amount he should be jumping. I think he almost looks like he's slipping a little bit. So I'm just going to pull him back a couple of units, or maybe a unit and a half, and reset that keyframe by pressing S again. I think that's better. That looks a bit more rigid now. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so at this point, you've got um, an animation that will loop as long as we're only previewing 21 frames. But let's say this project was 200 frames long and we wanted to preview it. We'd play it, he'd jump once and then he'd just sit there looking all lazy. Come on Jeff, sort yourself out. So that's what we're going to sort out in the next video. We're going to um, make sure that using the post infinity um, option in the graph editor that he will keep jumping for as long as we want him to. Okay, so I will see you in the next video for that.